Richard from In The Box Productions. I hope you're having a great day. Here we're going to start a new series of tutorials where I talk about individual functions in Logic like plugins and EQs and stuff like that. And here we're going to be starting with a flex pitch today. So let's jump right in. We're going to start by importing Byron, of uh, an Apple Loop vocal, and uh, we'll start working with that. by clicking on the region we can open up the edit window or by hitting the scissors or by hitting E on the keyboard and once we've opened that up we'll activate flex here that will ask us to turn flex on so we turn flex on then we choose flex pitch from the menu here and then you'll notice that we've got like a piano roll system here with these bars here over each note and if we click on these bars, you can hear each note and then you can start adjusting them. So here you can notice we've got these handles here on each side and at each corner. And here we have uh, this first corner up the top here we have, which is called pitch drift, which you can see this little squiggly line here is where the note goes, where the singer goes up to the note or down to the note. And then here we have the gain, which brings up and down the actual audio itself, which is really good as well. And then in the middle, we have the handle in the middle that brings up and down the fine pitch, as you can hear. And as you can see, this bl light blue color in the middle seems to fill up or unfill a bit like a, a tank. So you can see whether the pitch is actually perfect or not. When it's full, it's perfect. And when it's kind of half empty or half full, it's, it's, it's off. So that's visually, you can see that. Here we have the vibrato that we can just adjust quite easily. And here if we take some off and then listen to that again. <laughs> then here we have the formant shift on the right hand, the bottom right hand handle, which is a reacts a bit like the uh, form and shift in the, the vocal transformer plugin in Logic. It just changes the, the, the sound of the voice. It doesn't change the pitch. So if I just select everything and then just move this up a bit so we can have a listen. <laughs> Maybe move it a little bit more. <laughs> and if I bring it down, then it gives us a kind of lowish sounding vocal. <laughs> doesn't really change the pitch it just kind of deforms the vocal sound itself so let's put that back up to zero again and now we can just right click in the in the empty part here and select set all to perfect pitch and this will adjust everything perfectly there you go you can see it just snapped to to the note itself <laughs> but we don't want that so we can go back by either right clicking again and going set as original pitch or just do command z and that will bring it back as well so here we have the uh, vibrato here on the right top handle we have the pitch drift as like on the left hand side so if we find this is a bit too dramatic as a pitch drift and that the pitch is too high or, or low we can go and get our scissor tool up here, or I can just go command to bring it up as a secondary tool. Then we can just divide the track, split it by cutting it, and then it will adjust it automatically. And so you have a less dramatic pitch shift, and uh, then we can adjust that the way we want to. Pretty useful, that. You can also divide up notes and then just move them around to change the melody if you're not happy with that which is quite easy to do as you can see and have a listen to this that's absolutely terrible so we're not going to keep that but that was just to show you how how that works so let's go and do command z and bring it back to where it was so here on the left hand side we have uh, the global functions so we can change the pitch by selecting everything and then just moving the pitch up 
and then that will put everything pitch perfect or not as we want to. And then down here, we have the quantize. So we just click on the Q and then bring the strength up to 100%. You can see that it's actually now on the grid. So now we can pull this back and it will be back as it was before. So if we go down here, we can now choose the key that we want as well and change the key. So if I put in uh, F sharp, it'll change, or maybe C sharp, then it'll change again, or C like that. So that's great for doing auto tune effects or other things like that. Or you can put it on a bass guitar or guitars or even even keyboards, uh, drum parts, uh, effects, anything you want really. I mean, it's a, just a really powerful tool and it's great to use. So also there's something else you need to know is that if we close this and then here, open up flex here in the arrange window, you'll notice that on the track in the arrange window, we have all the notes that come up in the actual region and that we can actually move these as we want here the same as in the edit window. So if I go back into the edit window, here the difference is that, I'll just bring that back again, is that we've got these global functions here. So you've got these scale quantize and the time quantize that you don't have in the, in the main window. Uh, there's a thing to remember though, that if this is not activated, when you activate this, it doesn't automatically activate in the actual edit window itself. So you need to activate that, that's something you need to do. You don't have to have that activated either. This will work on its own. So um, yeah, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, like, subscribe, and of course, leave me a comment, and I will see you very soon.